I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on measurements. We will take up volume and surface area of cylinders. Here are three excellent questions from previous test papers. They are related with volume and surface area. Let's begin with the formulas. Volume of a cylinder is area of the base which is pi r square times height and the surface area is given as there are two circles so 2 pi r square right plus the lateral area 2 pi r h so these are the formulas which you might need question number one sketch a cylinder that has volume between 300 centimeter cube and 400 centimeter cube you're given the formula right there question two a container in the shape of a cylinder is 15.6 centimeter high and has a diameter of 12.8 centimeter. How many milliliters of milk will the container hold if it is filled three quarters of the maximum capacity? One centimeter cube is same as one milliliters. Question three is, a cylindrical container holds 935 milliliter of milk find the minimum surface area of this container. Now that's a thinking question, right? So let me write this as tips. Now based on this question, I have uh, two SAT practice questions for you. Which I'll add at the end, right? So, so basically, we'll look into these five questions for the video. So let's begin with the very first one, which is uh, to sketch a cylinder that has volume of 300 centimeter cube. Right? So, uh, so let's let's just sketch one cylinder. Okay. Now, how do you get volume of 300 centimeter cube between 300 to 400? Right? So we know the volume formula is given to us pi times 3 pi r square h, right? Now, pi is 3.14. So, we have 3.14. We want something. So, 3.14 is like, if I multiply by 100, I get 314, right? So, if I have r square times h as kind of 100, so I could just make it. You see that? So, that is the idea. So, so r square and h could have any number so that we get this as 300. For example, if I take R as 10, for example, let's say if I take R as we can have different values for this. This is an open question. So easy calculation will be if I take R as 10, then in that case, R square will be 100. And I just want to multiply this by 100. So I could have height of 1 in this case. So that is one possibility. So, so I could have 10 square times 1. So in this case, we get a volume of 314 centimeter cube, right? 314 centimeter cube. So that could be one of the possible answers. Well, so it's an open question. You can get more than one answer, right? Okay. Now let's take question number two. Question number two is, a container in the shape of cylinder is 15.6 centimeter high and has diameter of 12.8. So let's again make a cylinder, right? So it is, so let's say like this, okay. So the height is given to us as 15.6, right? So 15.6 centimeter high and the diameter is 12.8. So if diameter is 12.8, half of this will be the radius. So in this case, radius will be 6.4, correct? How many milliliters of milk will the container hold if it is filled three quarters of the maximum capacity? So it is not filled fully, three quarters, correct? So that is important to note. Now from here, we know diameter is 12.8 centimeters. That means radius should be 12.8 divided by two, which is 6.4 centimeter. And we are given height as 15.6 centimeters, correct? So total volume is pi times r square times 
height. Correct? Since we need three quarters of the maximum capacity, so what should we do? We should actually take three quarter of this. That is to say, we'll take not the full volume, but three quarter of this, right? So three out of four. So that should give you three quarter of the volume, right? So let's substitute the values. We have three over four times pi, which is 3.14 times radius square, which is 6.4 whole square and times height, which is 15.6, correct? Centimeter cube, which is also same as milliliters, right? So that is how we could straight away find the answer. So let's multiply the things first. So 3 times 3.14 times 6.4 square times 15.6 and then we'll divide this by 4 to get 3 quarters of the volume. So that gives us 1504 centimeter cube which is same as 1504 milliliters, right? Or you can say approximately 1.5 liters which is one point five liters right correct so that is how you could find three-fourth of its volume so I hope it makes sense correct now let's take the next question question number three a cylindrical container holds 935 milliliter of milk find the minimum surface area of this container so we are given the volume right only the volume is given to us which is 935 milliliters we need to find the surface area of this container. Now, how can you find surface area? Now, it also says find the minimum surface area, right? So, it says find the minimum surface area. How do you find the minimum surface area when you are given the capacity? Now, very important to note here is that for maximum volume, and given surface area. There is a condition which you should know and the condition is that height is equal to diameter in cylinders. Right, so that is how you make optimum size of a cylindrical container. Now these are very common. You see the pops, everything is in cylindrical containers. So that's a very important thing to remember, right? So remember this. And now you can actually pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions, correct? So what we are saying here is that height is equal to diameter, which is twice radius. So that is given to you, right? When we say minimum surface area so for a given surface area we have to maximize the volumes it's the other way of the same thing right now we know the volume is pi r square h and h is two r's and volume is 935 so we could write this as 935 equals to pi which is 3.14 we'll use the value 3.14 r squared times r which means r cube right so we can divide 935, uh, sorry, it is two times r, right? Height is twice, right? So we can divide 935 by 6.28, right? So two times, I should write 3.14. Does it make sense to you? That becomes r cubed. So we can now find r from this particular formula. So if you want to do direct, you could do r equals to cube root of this number which is 935 divided by 2 times 3.14 gives 6.28 correct so let's calculate so we have 935 divided by 6.28 that gives you 148.8 right and we'll do cube root of this number right so 148 cube root means the power is 1 over 3 right so we'll do power of 1 divided by 3 which is equal to 5.3 centimeters correct so we get the radius as 5.3 centimeters we need to find the minimum surface area now what is the surface area of a cylinder right 
So I hope you remember the formula. Surface area is, well, assume the cylinder to be closed, right? Since it is containing milk, so it is 2 pi r square. So these are the circular portions and the lateral area 2 pi r h. Is it okay? So that is the formula. So surface area will be, we'll substitute the value of r here. So we have 2 times 3.14 for pi. R is 5.3, 5.3 square, plus 2 times 3.14, times R is 5.3, and height is twice radius, right? So if R is this, then height is 5.3 times 2, right? Which is 10.6, so we'll multiply by 10.6, correct? So I hope this calculation is absolutely clear to you. Since we said that height is twice radius so height will be 2 times 5.3 which is 10.6 centimeters correct so we are substituting that value here uh, to find the answer right so we have the formula right there surface area as 2 pi r square 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h right Okay, so let's calculate this. <clears throat> so we have 2 times 3.14 times 5.3 square. Okay, so we'll find this and then we'll add to this 2 times 3.14 times 5.3 times 10.6, right? And that gives you 529.2 centimeter square so the surface area the minimum surface area for this container will be 529 centimeters square perfect so that is how you would actually find this so it is kind of very important to understand that for an optimal shape of a cylinder closed on both the sides you get the maximum volume when diameter and height are same now, based on this, we have two questions, which are multiple choice questions. So, I'd like you to continue with this video, check the two questions, answer them, and then I hope you'll get a lot of confidence in solving similar questions. Here are two excellent examples based on cylinders. A cylindrical container will have maximum volume for the given surface area if its height is equal to its diameter. One such cylinder with capacity of 935 milliliter is designed to hold milk. Based on this information, we have two questions. Question number one, find the radius of this cylinder. Four options are given to you. And question number two is, find the maximum distance between any two points on it. I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now this type of question is very tricky and it is considered to be a hard question for SAT. Now we are working on the volume. The formula is normally given to you. Volume formula is pi r square h. So that is the formula. You know that the volume is 935 milliliters and it is a cylinder whose height is same as the diameter because we are also given here that some information that cylindrical container will have maximum volume for the given surface area if its height is equal to its diameter right now for given surface area maximum volume is very important to understand because you know the cost of material is based on surface area so it becomes uh, economical packaging. Perfect. Now I hope you understand the question. I'd like you to pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions. Okay, let's try to solve it. So this is the cylinder. Let us assume that the radius is R. In that case, the diameter D will be 2 times R and height is equal to 2 times r, right? So height will be 2 times r. So if I write height in terms of radius, then we have simpler calculations to make, right? 
we know that volume is 935 milliliter well you should also know that one milliliter is equal to one centimeter cube right okay now 935 that means dim dimensions in centimeter is fine 935 is the volume should be equal to pi times radius we need to find let's replace height with 2r since height is same as the diameter right so we'll write this as 2 times r so that gives you 935 is equal to 2 pi r cube so from here you can find the radius so it'll be 935 divided by 2 pi right so that will give you r cube to find r we have to do cube root of this expression right so that is how you are going to get the radius. So let's calculate radius now. 935 divided by, within brackets, 2 times pi, bracket close. And then this is 148.8. We'll do cube root of this. So we'll do cube root. So shift cube root of uh, our answer and so that gives us 5.29 right so that is 5.29 could be written as 5.3 so we get the radius of 5.3 which is option d for us perfect so we get the first answer now the second question here is find the maximum distance between any two points on on it so what could be the maximum distance? Well, the maximum distance could be if you consider two points diagonally across, right? So that means if I consider these two points, I should get the maximum distance, right? So we could use Pythagorean theorem to find the maximum distance. We now know what height and diameter is. So what is the diameter? Diameter is equals to 2 times 5.3, right? Or 10.6, correct? So this side is 10.6. The height is also 10.6. So this will be 10.6 times square root of 2, right? A square plus B square square root. So that will give us the maximum distance. So maximum distance will be, you can do A square plus B square square root will be 10.6 square root 2, right? So we'll multiply 10.6 by square root 2. So what I'll do here is I got 5.299. I'll just multiply this by 2 and then by square root 2 to get the answer. We get this as 14.9, which is approximately 15, right? So 15 centimeters is the maximum distance. Option C is the right option. Perfect. So that is how we can actually solve this question. Now, many times in the test paper, you may not be given this particular information that for maximizing the volume for a given surface area, height and diameter should be same. So it is important to remember, right? So, so note, for optimum capacity, height equals to diameter in a cylinder so it is the information which you should know right okay now this question could have been changed and instead of giving you the volume I could have given you the surface area right so you could do a question with surface area in mind so if I say well if the surface area is, let us say, 1,000 uh, centimeters square, in that case, what is the uh, same thing, right? What could be the uh, radius and what could be the distance uh, diagonally across, right? So this question could be changed in so many different ways to work with. I hope that gives you a good knowledge about it and that should help you to perform better in your own test. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.